some objects let us see previously we have learned regarding the measuring of speed and measuring of the distance and measuring of the time now we will be seeing how to plot the graphs between the distance and time time and speed and speed and distance now here we will be seeing different types of graphs how we can plot the distance and time and any other variations such as the way ages of a person the different age areas of a person and different persons weights and the amount of all gases present in air or any type anything you can plot it on the graph paper and i hope you know the graph paper that we will be mostly using in maths regarding the plotting of bar bar diagrams and the pie charts we will be using mostly them The graph paper consists of the horizontal and vertical lines, right? The horizontal line is known as the x-axis, and the vertical line is known as the y-axis plotted, and the coordinate axis, y-axis is also known as the ordinate axis, and the x-axis is also known as axis. Now, on this. Uh, graph paper we will be plotting different types of graphs based upon our needs right now here i am showing three types of bar graphs that is the first one is bar graph and the second one is pie chart and the third one is line diagram or line graph okay now first when right, coming to the first type graph that is bar graph a bar graph showing the runs run by 18 in each over that means for example let us say my person is running right in a team a team consists of assembly team consists of eight members and the person who runs first his record is recorded as shown and the second third fourth and so on up to eight the amount of the the speed how much they run and how much distance they run is noted in the bar graph this is the kilometers how much they have run and this is the time taken that is hours in one hour assume that the first person has run around just 2 kilometers in the same way we will be plotting for different persons based upon the distance they covered in a particular time this type of graphs are known as bar graphs because they are see if you see them they are as a straight pillars right like straight bars which are projected vertically upwards and these type of graphs are known as bar graphs now while coming to the second graphs that is pie charts we will be seeing see it is in a circular shape right and the circle is divided into different types of parts that is known as simply pie chart because the circle is consisting of two pi r as a circumference right and area is coming to pi r square therefore the pi which is common in a circle that is of radius 22 by 7 
Based upon his age, when he is somewhere around two years age, he is around just nine nine cases. When four years, he is just around ten cases. In such a way, we brought him towards up to his fourteen years age, that is around sixty cases. That means a year and have just plotted based upon the weight, that is ages, and the age, that is years. Okay. In this way, just I will be drawing those. I'll be obtaining the line diagram. If I draw the line crossing the origin, then it is said to be as a straight line. Okay. Now we will see some other graphs, which in order to draw on a graphical paper, by following some steps. Now let us see how to plot a graph between the distance and time. The first step here I have written in a stepwise form. You you have to observe. The
first we have drawn the two perpendicular lines that is x axis and y axis and the origin and later we have decided on on what we on what the axis we have to plot what that means on x axis time and y axis distance and on third point we have decided how much units of scale we have taken that is 1 minute equals to 1 centimeter and 1 kilometer equals to 1 centimeter right therefore the fourth point now here goes that we have plotted the values and fourth point is mark the points by observing the record that means we have to mark the points based upon the record given for us that means I hope you can see on the right side that is the table given to mark the points that is time and distance one minute he has traveled one kilometer and for two minutes he has traveled two kilometers and three minutes three kilometers and so on therefore we can see here for one minute he has traveled one kilometer so we will be plotting here and two kilometers two minutes in the same way we will be plotting the values on the graph paper and we will be joining those points with the help of a pen now in the fifth point shows the set of points on graph corresponding to positions of car at various times that means we will be seeing the position of the car traveling at certain distance that means up to 1 km how much distance it traveled that means how much time taken and up to 2 km how much time 3 km how much time in such a way we will be analyzing by saying the graph itself right now in the sixth point we will be seeing joining the all the points that is we have joined it and in the seventh point in straight line that means if at all our graph consists of this straight line passing through the origin we will be saying that the car is moving at constant speed throughout the journey that means it is maintaining the certainty and this is to be as known as average speed and this speed is known as average speed because it is maintaining the certainty that is constantness and the eighth point here is if at all it is not maintaining the graph will be ups and downs and it is not as straight line passing through the origin and the seventh point here we have seen the straight line graph and the eighth point is difference between the highest and the lowest values of each quantity that means by seeing the graph itself we can analyze so many points rather than having the record as shown on the right side but on graph we can see the highest point that means highest speed at where what time and at what instant the car has traveled that is the highest speed around the 50 km a 20 seconds right like that and the lowest point is the starting point in such a way we can plot the highest speeds and the lowest speeds and the distance between these two points and the time taken to travel these two points at any instant of time on the graph we can measure at any point how much distance and how much time it taken to travel the journey that is if at all I want to plot I want to find out at this point how much distance it traveled and how much time it taken I have to do just simple thing that is I have to draw two perpendicular lines passing through these points right and now here I will be showing the value that is it is around 12 right that means 12 seconds and here it is around 16 kilometers right simple now it, the, the car has traveled 16 kilometers it has taken around 12 seconds in this manner we can point out at any instant on this graph paper by using this pictorial representation so you understood that this graphical representation will give much more information rather than compared to that recording status so we will be mostly preferring the graphical representation for the time taken to travel at certain distance by car and even the pie chart or any graphical representation is more useful than compared to the recorded diagrams or documentations now this I hope you understood the steps clear with it and the last step is the intermediate values that means see the intermediate one the what we have to consider in our mind by drawing the graphs is the intermediate value should not be so complicated that means it should not be so like 3.5 4.5 that means it's very tough to calculate right therefore we have to make simple calculations such as 1 unit equals to 1 10 centimeters that means 1 centimeter equals to 5 hours like that 1 centimeter 20 hours but rather than going to critical calculations okay now the third point what we have to remember is to utilize the maximum
some point that means we have to utilize the graph paper in maximum extent that means if you have the graph paper is this much equal size just not drawing in the corner it's not looking like right it will be as odd as but we have to use the total graph paper as possible that is we have to remember and we have to remember that it any instead of time that means the main advantage of this graph paper is at any instant we have we can calculate the values based upon the graph right and we have to remember the units what we are taking right these are the four important steps we have to remind while drawing the graphs and how to draw the graphs i have shown in seven